Welcome everyone. Today in science, we are going to take a look at one of my visitors. Do you see it? I can't even believe it. So last year we were able to get some caterpillars, swallowtails, as well as some monarch caterpillars. And the monarchs we watch go through the life cycle of egg larva pupa adult and then ultimately we were able to release them. And then we also had these amazing swallowtails and they were caterpillars. By the way, they love dill. Didn't know that until I had to feed them last year. And would they eat and eat and eat and eat and we had to keep buying dill and we put them in this little um, cage for them um, so that we could watch them and they went to pupa state and what we didn't realize is that not all butterflies actually migrate our swallowtails here hibernate in pupa state and so we put them in a cold place in our school in a little corridor and before we had to leave for virtual learning i thought i better grab these because they're going to need to get into a warm spot at the end of march and into april so that they can finish up um, through their hibernation go into their adult state which is butterfly and I couldn't even believe it. I just came downstairs today and lo and behold, we have a beautiful butterfly that joined us. And so for the next um, few lessons, I am actually going to be teaching about butterflies. If you would like to join us, um, we are looking forward for you to learn a little bit about those insects and what makes them insects and their structures and functions. Thanks for joining me and stay tuned. All right, so what makes a butterfly an insect? Well, if you can see our little butterfly friend, it has. So what makes a butterfly an insect? Well, first of all, insects have six legs. All right, and so our butterfly here has six legs. We can see that butterflies also have antennas because insects have antennas. Do you see them? There they are, those two. What makes them a butterfly is that they're club. Do you see how it looks like a golf club at the top? Kind of cool, huh? Well, what else makes a butterfly an insect is if you can see, it has three main parts. You have the head, the middle part where the wings are is the thorax, and of course that back long section, do you see it right there? That's its abdomen, all right? You can see Again, those three parts look real closely. It's hard to see all of that, but if you look real closely, you can see the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Oh, and did you see the proboscis? Butterflies have a really cool part that allows them to get that nectar or the pollen, and that proboscis kind of flew away on me. Oh, that silly thing. I had found some dill, and interestingly enough, it knows that it loves that dill, right? There it is on some of that dried up dill. So there's that proboscis, that curly part. And when it finds something that it wants to eat, it blends right in there. It'll spread out that proboscis. Oh, went right back into its, into its little cage. You can see in there. And you'll see that there's a whole bunch of them, a whole bunch of pupa in there. Do you see it way back in there? It looks, there's two of them, there's a whole bunch in there. There's one way up at the top and two down on that stick. That's actually what it looks like when it's in pupa state. It looks like a little piece of the stick. And so that's pretty cool that we're gonna watch. Oh, guess what? There's another one in there too. Oh, they're coming out left and right. There's another one. Oh, must have just come out a little while ago. So we have two swallowtails. My goodness, we're going to be busy with our insect unit, aren't we? Thanks for joining me. Again, what makes a butterfly an insect? Let's think about it. Head, thorax, abdomen. It has antennas. It has six legs. It's identified as an insect. It goes through its life cycle. Egg larva pupa adult. I hear something, so I'm thinking that there's another one coming out. I can't wait to show you.